We made it was named, like most known space planets, for the first thoughts of the people that colonized it. In this case, the colony ship crashed into the planet. Luckily, everyone survived, so they named their new home We Made It, to celebrate the fact they made it there alive. But, let's go back in time for a second. The day the automated colonization probe arrived on We Made It, long before the colonists crash landed there, it found a planet with a mild, warm environment and plenty of oxygen in the atmosphere. Therefore, it immediately sent the signal back to Earth that it had found a habitable planet. The people on the colonization ship that followed, therefore, thought they were going to live on a tropical paradise. Reality couldn't have been any further from the truth. There was the rare peaceful day on We Made It, to be sure, but they were few and far between. The year on We Made It was almost twice as long as an Earth year and the axis of the planet was canted so that twice a year, the axis of the planet pointed at its star. During these times, winds that put a tornado to shame ripped across the face of the planet, trying to equalize the temperature. 1500 mile per hour winds destroyed anything and everything on the surface of the planet. But when the planet was situated so that the day and night cycle nearly matched that of Earth's, for the people not at the poles, then the calm, peaceful days would occur now and then, as the planet's atmosphere did not desperately try to equalize the temperature differences from the two poles. Due to this, the entire colony of We Made It, in which the people call themselves Crashlanders due to their arrival and the fact that We Made It Ian was far too clunky for anyone to say, all lived underground. This, combined with the random chance of genes of the first colonists, made albinism a common trait of crashlanders. 40% of the population tends to be albino on We Made It. The gravity of We Made It is only 59% of Earth's. So another trait of crashlanders is their tall, frail appearance. In the weak gravity of We Made It, it is not uncommon for a native to grow to over eight feet tall. We Made It's oxygen came from its seas which were chocked full of photosynthesizing algaes, the only life on the planet. But it's only two real contributions to the known space universe, besides its tourism, were one of its natives, Beowulf Schaefer, who discovered that the galaxy was exploding, among other adventures, and also surrogate father to Lewis Wu, and the hyperdrive. We made it was the first human colony to contact alien life. They detected an outsider ship entering their solar system and made contact. Unfortunately, we don't know the details of that meeting, but the end result was that the government of We Made It purchased, on credit, the first FTL drive humanity had ever heard of, the Quantum Hyperdrive. This hyperdrive could let a ship travel faster than a light year a month. It allowed for travel between colony worlds and Earth, and most importantly of all, it allowed for humanity to beat back the attacking Gazinti. Without this drive, it is very likely that humanity would have been enslaved by the Gazinti like so many other races. All in all, the people of We Made It, the Crashlanders, didn't do too bad in the Colony Probe Lottery. They didn't end up with a horrific, oppressive government like Wonderland and they didn't end up with anything as constant and uncomfortable as Jinx's heavy gravity which shortens their lifespans. They were the first to meet aliens who sold them their wildest fantasies, and they escaped the worst of the Mankazin Wars. Sure, they have to live underground, but every now and then there is a nice day and they can go out and have fun on the beach. Sorry for the short video this week. I'm learning Adobe After Effects so I can make this channel even better. But it's taking up a lot of time. It took me quite a while just to do the animations for this video, since I'm still learning. So you might be getting a lot more short videos in the future, as it's going to be taking more time to make each new video now. But the trade-off is they're going to be of higher quality. Which I guess doesn't matter to you if you only listen to these, but I told myself when I made this channel that I want to always be improving. 
I don't want to just stagnate, and I don't want my channel to just stagnate. I want to widen its appeal. So I hope you don't mind the shorts. Just know I'm working on longer stories in the background. Hey, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you staying this long, and since you did, hopefully that means you like my channel. So I'd really appreciate it if you would like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe, so I can see you back here for the next one. Take care.